it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I did my summer daily makeup. I've been wearing this look for the past couple weeks now. It's just a super natural and glowy makeup look. Um, if you'd like to see how I got it, then please keep on watching. Okay, so to start off with the base, the first thing I'm going to do is go right in with moisturizer. And today I'm using the SK2 Cellumination Deep Surge X. This product is really good because it's kind of a water gel base. It doesn't make me oily and it's especially good when the weather is really hot outside. Okay, so now that my face doesn't feel like a dry patch anymore, I'm going to go right into sunscreen. So the sunscreen that I've been loving recently is the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil for UV Protector. Um, and it has SPF 42, which is amazing. The good thing about this product is that it's oil free, which I have oily skin and normally sunscreens actually give me kind of that really sticky feeling and I hate that, but this one gives me a really nice matte finish. So I've been wearing this every day and I can't go without it. The primer that I'm going to be using is the Shiseido Refining Makeup Primer. Next, I'm going to go right into concealer, and today I'm using two today. I'm using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and then the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I'm going to start off with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm just going to go over my blemishes on my cheeks, kind of where it's red. Wherever I see anywhere that kind of has redness or acne scars, anything like that, I'm just gonna use the NARS concealer. Then with the Make It Forever Full Cover Concealer, I'm gonna go for my under eyes. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And to make sure that all our work stays in place, I'm going to go right in with my Stay Matte Rimmel um, setting powder and I'm just going to put that all over my face. So now for my brows, I'm actually not going to fill them in. Um, for my daily makeup, I normally don't um, like to kind of fill them in and kind of have the like perfect brow, but my natural brows are actually pretty thick. So I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Brow Drama, and this is just an eyebrow gel, and I'm just going to put them in place. But I think overall, it just makes the brows just look a lot more natural. And brows done. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna jump right into eyes, and this eye look is gonna be super simple. All I'm doing is using one color, um, which is very different than all my other videos, but of course I'm gonna go right in with my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because I just got it and I love it. But I'm gonna be using the color Puree. So I'm just going to go right in with my finger actually and just put that all over my eyelid. And then with a brush, I'm going to go right in with the same color, just put it on the outer thirds of my lower lash line. And that's it for the eyes, believe it or not. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is go right in with the eyeliner. And I'm first just going to tight line using the... NYC waterproof eyeline pencil. Then with the Tony Moly black gel eyeliner, I'm going to go in and start drawing my wing. And next I'm going to curl my eyelashes with the Revlon eyelash curler. Next, I'm going to be using the Total Tease by CoverGirl um, mascara. And I've actually never tried this mascara before. This is the first time I'm using it. Um, so let's see if it's good. I don't think it beats my L'Oreal Telescopic. And that's it for the eyes. 
Next, I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail product, the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Honestly, this bronzer I've been using for so many years now. It just has the perfect color. It's not too orangey on me, um, which a lot of people found that it was a little bit too orange for them. But for me, I feel like it's perfect. So I'm just going to do my fishy face and start carving my face. And for my nose, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just lightly contour my nose. I don't like to contour it too much, just a little bit. That's it. Okay, and for blush, I recently just got the NARS Liquid Blush um, in Orgasm because I, I have the powder version. I just love, love, love the color. It's so pretty. It's just super shimmery. And I've been wearing this for the past week now, and it's been actually really hot in Toronto. And even when I'm sweating buckets, this blush does not lose its pigment it doesn't slide off it stays right where it is and it just stays super glowy and it's just so pretty I think it beats the um, powder version for sure hands down and I'm just gonna put a teeny bit on my nose And for the last step, I'm going to go right in with the lips. And today I'm going to be using ColourPop's Brink in their lippy sticks. It's just super pretty and it has more of a reddish tone. And I think it's perfect for everyday wear. And that's the finished look. And that's it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I've just been loving this natural and summery look. Um, if you did like this video, please thumbs up and share and subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can also follow me on Instagram at StephanieOn. And I think that's about it. I will see you guys in the next one.